Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today, welcome to the very first Spin Tires video that I'm recording in 2017. Now, I really appreciated the, like, oh my god, the, the support that we got on the New Year's off-roading video was so good that we're gonna be, I mean, we're gonna be doing so many more off-roading videos very, very soon. I'm just like, I just gotta go back up to the trails and I, I'm definitely gonna be out there a lot more regularly now that we really kind of know our trails and like we're, we're starting to get to where we've, we're like, you know, going out there a lot more and I'm sure we'll be out there even more once it starts to get warmer out. So the biggest suggestions that I had were to do a like top gear style challenges with my Jeep and Jeep guys, Jeep, and then the other guys, Jeep, Austin, the, the green Jeep that was in the video. So what we'll probably do is we'll get all those three Jeeps together and do some kind of Top Gear challenge because I think that would be, that's an amazing idea and I think it would be super, super fun. Now this truck is sitting on 40 inch mud grapplers which don't really allow for much flex, but they allow for a ton of grip and they look like they're super wide. They're probably 40, 15, 50s I, I want to say. I think that's like an actual uh, mud, mud grappler size, like an actual size that they're available in is 40, 15, 50 or 40, 14, 50, I can't remember. But, regardless, they look really, really good on this truck. I outfitted this truck with just the, just the off-road gear. I put the, I put the bed on it, and did the off-road gear. And that's pretty much all this truck needs. This truck doesn't need much more than that, just because it's a very, it's a very basic single-cab truck that, uh, th th that does a lot of stuff. Like, it can go a lot of places. It's very functional. Um, I can see this being a really good rescue truck because it's got a lot of grip. It's got a lot of um, a lot of decent power, actually. The power isn't bad at all, and it's it's really well balanced. It doesn't really want to flip over, uh, and, which is something that a lot of other like pickups and spin tires seem to sometimes have issues with. Now, I actually I don't I didn't even see that there was a rock crawling section there. I want to turn around and go back up it, but. Real quick as well, let me show you guys the map that we're on. We're on uh, Monkey's Trail. Now, basically, what this is, is it's a small map that's trail and rock crawling based. There's no lumber. There's no logs or anything like that. I mean, there's a logs kiosk, but there's no, like, lumber drop-off. So, you don't really, you're not really going to be logging on this map much. So, it's really based around trails and trail riding and that kind of thing. But it's not, you know, it's not a huge map. Like, um, like say, for example, there's that one map... That's like it's like Devil's something that I've forgotten the name of all of a sudden. But like it's it's like a huge trails map. This one isn't that big. It's just it's just actually like just a really fun, entertaining map. Like you get these these really nice like sections. Like look out there, look out there onto the ooh don't flip. Look out there. You get these big rocks and like a little bit of a little bit of a pond at the end of this river, like little waterfall. So it's a really, really nice, nicely laid out, nicely put together map that I honestly, you don't really see many maps similar to this one, like similar to this style in, uh, in spin tires as of now. Like a lot of the maps that have been coming out lately have been very focused on, uh, kind of like kind of sparse environments, but just a lot of trails and rocks. Whereas this is, is, you know, this you've got like, you've got those kind of environment vistas and stuff like that, that, that really set the map off nicely, and I like the way they look, so, I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot to be had on a map like this, and a lot of fun to be had on a map like this, and even though this isn't a vehicle that you normally would expect to see on a crawling map, it, it really fits in, it fits in, and it, it's, it's right at home here, it, it doesn't have any grip issues, it's, it's only real issue is flex, and that's because in the front we're dealing with an independent suspension, and we're also on 40s, so 40s plus independent suspension, you're not really going to get much flex out of that, and I understand that. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit stuffy. I am like, I don't know, I am kind of, kind of like just a little bit under the weather with something. I'm not sure what I, what I have. I think I just, I don't know, it was probably the byproduct of wearing shorts for the past, like, three or four days and being outside in the cold, and my body was just like, eh, yeah, that's not a good idea, and we're gonna let you know that that's not a good idea, so that, there's a very good chance that it might be that. Now, QM's done a few other Chevys, he's done a, he's done a couple others, he's done, like, a Duramax, he's done a long bed, and this, I think, is one of his better, if not his best truck, and just because, just because, I think that the, just because I think the short bed lends itself so much better, 
to to off road stuff that it, it just it just feels so much more at home in spin tires. And I think the reason for that is just because you're not having to deal with a massive truck bed all the time and like you know having to having to like drive the truck all over the place and kind of like you know make a million point turn to get in and out of an area. I mean that's just something you're always gonna have to do with a long bed truck like a short bed truck. You're good. You just use the full width to your advantage and just kind of go wherever you want. So that's what this truck really kind of lends itself to, and I like that. I also like when you outfit the, the the bed with, like, all the supplies. You get, like, a shovel and – actually, well, you get an axe, a shovel, and something else over there. I can't really see what it is. You get three fuel canisters. You get, like, a little uh, – a little uh, – kind of like a – kind of like a – Something that you can wrap your winch line around if you need to go around a tree. I forget the technical name of it, but I know what it does. You get a high lift jack and you get two chainsaws. So you're really, really ready to deal with some like to deal with some some shit like out in the out in the woods and anything that you may run into. I mean, you know, you can't really actually use any of that gear, but I think it's 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 fine because you don't really need to use it, quote unquote. I mean it's like it's just cool that it's there. The game has the functionality, you know, I mean, to use winches and stuff like that. And as long as the game has the functionality and then the modder puts the physical things there, like in the back of the truck, then you do kind of feel like you're you're using the equipment that you brought with you onto the trail. And that is really, really cool. That's a really cool feeling to have. So this, I think, is a different bridge than we found earlier. I'm like, uh, right up the edge. Not bad. I'm thinking, honestly, that the the trails on this map, the only thing that's a little bit iffy about them is that they're real easy to get turned around on. They're really, It's real easy to go in circles on this map because some of the trails are kind of offset from the main, uh, like, the main track. So you're kind of, you're, you, you sometimes find yourself going around in circles if you don't pay attention. And you go around in the same circle, like, three or four times, you're like, oh, crap. I've been going around in the same circle literally, like, three or four times. This section is cool, though. I mean, again, see, like I said, we just, we literally just went in a circle. We were just here. So, but it'll give us an opportunity to go, to go back up that rock crawling section. This truck looks really good in the daytime, too. Like, the way the sun hits the truck. I like the way he shaded it. I really do. Now you guys will get to see the potential of this truck actually going up stuff. And rock crawling wise, I mean, it's all about picking a line. This truck, once you pick a line, has no problem doing what it does. I mean, it just, it's got no problem doing what it does and, and doing what it, really doing what it has to do. Uh, just to find its way up obstacles. You just have to find a line that works well for the truck and works well for the, uh, just kind of fits the, the rocks at hand. But as you can see, that shorter wheelbase really, really helps it out to just scramble up any obstacles in its path that it needs to deal with. It doesn't really have any, uh, it doesn't really have anything that gets in its way, per se. It's just the only thing, like you can see right now, is line. And, because if you mess up the line, you are in for some, yeah, you're in for some, you're in for some crap. Back up just a little bit. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Come on. Never mind, it's like stuck. I'm thinking we need to go more left. So if we go more left, we should be able to scramble up the side and then run around to the edge. God, that bush is, like, getting in our way. I don't even know how it's able to withstand a Chevy truck, but, like, I don't know. So we had to go around, like, we had to take the line around the tree, but, I mean, I think that there's always going to be some vehicles that have to take a different line than, than, you know, than going straight up the rock, but that's been an overview of this truck. I really, really like it. I think it's a great truck, and I think you guys should really check it out. Um, go on Steam Workshop to check out the truck. Uh, a lot of you guys have been saying I don't post mod, like, mod links. The only reason why I don't post mod links is because they're on the Steam Workshop. Literally, just go and sort by most recent mods, and you'll see them, and if not, you can search. So, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.